So, a real quick tutorial on how to create tiles. Using Shadowbox to create my actual tile to begin with, obviously you can create it in Max or whatever, I just create a box. Masking off the centre of the box, I just use the Move tool, oops, do it without perspective on, use the Move tool to create a tile shape, masking off some sections either side, and I'm just going to use the Deformations Inflate to just give it a little bit of texture. Mask off the top of the tile, this time I'm going to use the constant layer brush, just keep working over it to bring it up. Could have used inflate again in just the Y axis like I did with the side bits, but this just gives me a little bit more control. OK, so there we have our basic tile. Now I'm just going to use the surface noise. Because we're going to do this on the canvas, we don't have to worry about geometry detail or subdivisions or anything like that. This will do it procedurally. So we've got our tile. Now I create a new document, make it 2048 square, and try drawing a tile on top of a plane. You see it's coming flat. I want to tilt it back here on the right hand side. You'll see the uh, preview window. and I set it to be tilted back by default. And then once I do that, set it there, store. Now when I draw it on the canvas, it's slightly tilted back. So I can draw on the canvas and move around and just keep placing this. Now a little hidden secret in ZBrush, which isn't overly done, is that you can press the AT key, or on some keyboards, the tilde key, and this allows you to scroll the canvas, which allows you to scroll things off the edge, and then basically have a completely tileable texture. So you hold down AT on my keyboard and move the mouse. You'll notice we've got a little um, cursor around our tile. That's because I once I've drawn it on the canvas, I've moved into move mode. This allows me to place it where I want. And if I press Shift S, I then get a copy. So I can keep creating copies of my tile as much as I want. I have to come out of this mode, press Shift S, uh, sorry, press At, and scroll the canvas. Keep doing that, fill in the gaps until you end up with a completely tileable set. Now because this isn't an actual model, it's just on the canvas, we can just paint straight on it, make sure you've only got MRGB on, not ZAD as I have here, which will cause a seam in a minute, you'll see. Um, so make sure ZAD is turned off, um, but keep painting away. I'm using a uh, noise in the hue so that it just gives a little bit of a stipply tonal value, just to mess things around a little bit. Keep working this in, a few different tones, and once it's done, we'll do a best render. And the best render will put in all the shadows and things like that. And because the object is tileable, the shadows and everything will actually end up being relatively tileable. You might have to touch a few things up in Photoshop. So there's the best render. As you can see, it's looking quite 3D. Take that into Photoshop, clean it up. Mine's got some seams. Like I say, I accidentally left Z add on, but otherwise it would have been good. So we're tapped into Photoshop. The other thing we can do is you can actually apply a normal material. So just stroke that over, make sure it's material, and presto, you actually get a normal map which matches your texture. How cool is that? The other thing you can do is do a alpha grab dock, which will actually give you a depth map. So if you want to create your own normals or things like that, then you can do. And indeed, you can quite clearly see the seam where I... Uh, painted accidentally while that bit was off the canvas. So that's it, that wraps it up. Um, I hope that helps. And there's the final render. Put that together with a normal map and a depth map. Stick that in Unreal and you'll be quids in. Okay, cheers.